Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the weekly lecture videos. Um, in this video, I start discussing chapter 15, Raising Capital. Um, so this chapter actually talks about um, how to raise capital, both short and long term. You know, businesses, uh, large and small, have one thing in common. They need long term capital. So this chapter describes how they get it. We pay particular attention to what is probably the most important stage in a company's financial life cycle, the initial public offering. And such offerings are the process by which companies convert from being privately owned to being publicly owned. For many, starting a company, growing it, and taking it public is the ultimate entrepreneurial dream. All firms um, at different times must obtain capital. To do so, a firm must either borrow money, like debt financing, sell a portion of firm, equity financing, or both. So how a firm raises capital depends on a great deal on the size of the firm, its stage in the life cycle, and its growth prospect. In this chapter, we examine some of the ways in which firm actually raise capital. Okay, so we have uh, several learning objectives as usual. So we will talk about venture capital market. Uh, we will learn how securities are actually sold and investment banks role in uh, the security issuance. And finally, we will also be talking about initial public offering and the cost associated with such offering. Um, so I will be uploading as usual um, one video covering each of the learning objectives. So in this video, I will be particularly focusing on venture capital. Okay, first of all, um, the term venture capital does not have a precise meaning, but it generally refers to financing of new, often high-risk ventures. For example, before it went public, internet auction or eBay uh, was um, a venture capital finance. Individual venture capitalists invest their own money whereas venture capital firms specialize in pooling funds from various sources and investing them. The underlying sources of funds for such firms include individuals, superannuation funds, insurance companies, uh, and large corporations. The broad term uh, private equity is often used to level the rapidly growing area of equity financing for non-public companies. So venture capitalists um, and venture capital firm recognize that many or even most new ventures will not fly, but the occasional one will. In such cases, the potential profits are enormous. To limit their risk, um, the venture capitalists generally provide financing in stages. And at each stage, enough money is invested to reach the next level or planning stage, okay. For example, um, first stage or first round financing might be enough to get a prototype built and a manufacturing plan completed. Based on the results, the second stage financing might be a major investment needed to actually begin manufacturing, marketing, and distribution. There might be many such stages, each of which represent a key step in the process of growing the campaign. Venture capital firms often specialize in different stages. Some specialize in very early seed money or ground floor financing. Often these funds are provided by individuals called business angels. Um, you remember um, this? So they are often called business angels. So business angels essentially provide a small amount of funds to get the project to the next stage, okay? In contrast, um, the financing in the later stages might come from venture capitalists specializing in so-called mezzanine level financing. 
where the imagining level refers to the level just above the ground floor. In finance, this means that um, in the event of failure, the venture capital is ranked just in front of equity, but after all other unsecured creditors in the distribution of funds. The fact that um, the financing is available um, in stages and is contingent on a space, specified goals being met in a powerful motivating force for the firm's founders. Often the founders receive relatively little in the way of salary and have substantial portions of their personal assets tied up in the business. At each stage of financing, the value um, of the founders a stake grows and the probability of success rises. If goals are not met, the venture capitalist will withhold further financing, uh, thereby limiting future losses. In addition to providing, providing financing, venture capitalists generally will actively participate in running the firm, providing the benefit of experience with previous starts up, as well as general business expertise. This is especially true when firm's founders have little or no hands-on experience of running a company. So now let's talk about some venture capital, venture capital realities. Um, although there is an active venture capital market, the truth is that access to venture capital is really very limited, okay? Venture capital companies receive huge number of unsolicited, unsolicited proposals, um, and the vast majority of these proposals end up in the rubbish bin. Venture capitalists rely heavily on informal network of engineers, scientists, lawyers, accountants, um, bankers or other venture capitalists to help to identify potential investments. As a result, personal contacts are important in gaining access to the venture capital market, and it's very much an introduction market. Okay. Uh, another simple fact about venture capital is that it is incredibly expensive. In a typical deal, the venture capitalists will demand 40% or more of the equity in the company. The venture capitalists will frequently hold voting um, convertible preference shares, which gives various priorities in the event that the company is sold or liquidated. The venture capitalists will typically demand several seats um, on companies' board of directors and may even appoint one or more members of senior management. Okay, uh, so you can see that venture capitalists are not only provide financing, they also take part in the management as well as in the corporate boards. Okay, now let's talk about choosing a venture capitalist. Um, some startup companies, particularly those headed by experience and previously successful entrepreneurs, will be in such demand that they will have the luxury of looking beyond the money in choosing a venture capitalist. There are some key considerations in such a case, and some of which um, you can see in the slide. First of all, um, financial strength is financial strength is important. The venture capitalist needs to have the resources and financial reserves for additional financing stages should they become necessary. This does not mean that bigger is necessarily better, however, because of our next consideration. Okay, then um, the style is important. Uh, some venture capitalists will wish to be very much involved in the day-to-day -day operations and decision-making, whereas others will be um, content with monthly reports. Which is better depends on the firm and on the venture capitalist's uh, business skills. In addition, a large venture capital firm may be less flexible and more bureaucratic than a smaller firm. Then references are important. Um, has the venture capitalist uh, been successful with similar firms? 
um, or equally important, how, how has the venture capitalist dealt with situation that did not work out? Okay, so uh, the venture capitalists with um, a positive answer to this question or a positive experiences are very, very important. Contracts are important too. A venture capitalist may be able to help um, the business in ways other than helping with financing and management by providing uh, introductions to potentially important customers, suppliers, and other industry contracts. Um, venture capitalist firms frequently specialize in a few particular industries, and such a special a specialization could prove quite valuable. And last of all, um, the, the exit strategy is also important. Venture capitalists are generally not long-term investors. So how and under what circumstances the venture capitalist will exit or cash out of the business should also be carefully evaluated. Okay, um, so that's essentially the end of our discussion about venture capitalists, where we understood um, what is uh, venture capital and um, what are the different stages of venture capital financing, some venture capital realities, and um, how uh, a venture capitalist will be chosen if you are an entrepreneur. Um, so thank you very much for watching.